Hey folks, Trace Monk here, playing some more Europa Universalis 4 as the Aztec. We are about to have to deal with some crazy wars over here. Uh, but first, this siege needs to finish. And we should really probably take one of theirs one of their provinces. I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, I want to make sure I fab on Chiapas over there. It'll be another uh, non-Nahuatl nation, but we'll survive it. So it's only the two mercenaries. Oh wait, I forgot. We're actually getting like more tax and trade and stuff because we have. No, oh, is that that's admin? Yeah, that's admin power. Uh, more tax and trade and things like that because we actually, you know, control those provinces now. First, I think you're not in any... Oh, you are in other wars. Tleponic. Tleponic is the biggest threat that we have here, really. Probably, anyway. Okay. Oh, no. We want to... Let's see. You're at war with Luxcala and Teleponic 2. They've become hostile. Can't we... The second we do anything there... They have... Wow, they have a 3-6. Okay. So, it's it's been a little while, but... Our heir is nearly of age. Let's actually turn our ruler into a general. Hey, he's a 2-2. Two, 2-2-1. Two. Two, two, it's not that bad. Uh, better in some ways, I guess, than a 0 2 3, one sometimes, anyway. I wish we could have more... Uh, I wish we had a way to have more, um... What am I thinking here? More army tradition. We aren't getting a whole lot, despite all the battles that we're having to go into here. So, we are going to... Hey, we, we're not going to be going into war with the Terrascan here. So, if I... There we go. Zero Diplo power, 66 war score. Truce will end 1491, so 11 years. Zero Diplo power, zero inflation. We get 19 prestige, which will cap us, not like we weren't already. And we'll be at war with the Telepanic, Tlaxcala, and the Zapotec. Which is one more than we wanted. Or one more than we want. But... Gotta do it. Okay. They are moving into Tlaxcala. Which is Highlands. We go there. 19th, 23rd. Oh, they're trying to get together, I think. Yeah. Okay, come on. No, no, no. Ah, oh, we lost. And we will retreat all the way back to Belize. Uh... Let's, yeah, shift join regiments. 
Uh, we may just need to actually join regiments, which means which leaves us with six out of a force limit of twelve. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we're doing well against here because they've got the Zhu in that war. Kokomis and Zhu are like allies. Yeah, Kokomis and Zhu are allies of the Zapotec. Okay. So. We want some. We want some fillers, and we're going to have to get. Well. We need to kind of get mercs to do it right now. See, our discipline almost had him there. But we picked a bad... We picked a bad point of, uh... We picked a bad place to be, basically. See, look, look at that. All good there. Near, uh. Whoa! Merchants worried about lack of production. Uh, gain one mercantilism. Great Aztec poet. He pleases the. He pleases the gods. Okay, the spoken word has always had a special significance to our people. Songs and recitations pro feature prominently in our religious and profane ceremonies, and even our highest leaders are referred to as Tlatoanis, speakers. Oral poetry is therefore one of the most sacred forms of art, and one of the few accepted ways in which a person can express dissatisfaction, anxiety, and even doubt about fate itself without angering the gods. Recently, an immensely popular Nahuatl poet has arrived in Mexico praising our city and its people but criticizing the Tlatuani himself or yeah um, we are gonna go ahead and we can afford to lose 10 legitimacy to deal with some of our doom okay now Here's a question. So, okay, there is no river crossing from here. We're at full morale. They have less men. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. We're nearly at full power there. Wow. We are just barely making money. Okay, yep, see? Come back at him, beat him down. Boom. Took out half their half their army there. Really, they took out a lot of ours. Where are they gonna be? They are probably gonna be fleeing to there. And stack wipe. Oh wait, uh you and you put you in half. You go over there. So what we may want to do, and this is going to be kind of weird, but we may want to let this war with the Mixtech 
continue on even after we've finished these other two. Okay, so... Uh, no, you're not letting us do it because you don't like us doing that. Okay, you go there. And split in half, you go there. Uh, yeah, we'll lose the ducats. And yeah, we're losing money because we're, you know, rebuilding manpower and stuff. Ugh, we lost. Fine. There we go. Uh, select the army. Seriously? You and you. Select you. Split you in half. One of you go over there. Big army, get out of there. Uh, you know what? You can just disband. We need 2,278 men. <sighs> aggressive man aggressive the whole idea I'm thinking here like we'll wait on like the this whole oh but can we do that I don't know if we can do that occupied by Aztec and then they like can't give it back to us Okay, so this is the subjugation of... Hmm, a little concerned about, like, the invalidation of wars. You guys have a feeling that's what's going to happen? Oh, yeah, you... Fabricate a claim on Chiapas. Get rid of some of this border gore we've got over here. Okay. Yay! Minus five doom plus one stability. And, ooh, military tech. Land morale and forts. Woo! Okay, you go ahead and come over here. These Patriots, 34.7 years. Why is that? Do we have... Yeah, have, we do actually have war exhaustion, although it is currently going down because... That's how it goes with us right now. Um, this was the Tlaxcalan subjugation of Teutonic. So we can negotiate with... Well, except that it'll cost us Diplo power this way. Okay, well, back down to zero doom. Wow, why did we just get six? Uh, dang it, that one. Okay, oh, spoils of war. We, we looted... Yeah, we looted Tlaxcala. Okay. That's right, because they changed the looted thing to happen whenever, um... <sighs> okay. So... <sighs> I 
wish th I don't think there's a way to do it right now so I'll just have to hope that I drag other people into other wars I think I have to end both of these be like okay you you know what No, not the not the mixed tech one. This one. We want both of you to become vassals. And we have to pay Diplo anyway because it wasn't our war. Great. Thanks, guys. Uh, oh, I just sent the peace deal your way. Yeah, double vassal. Okay, there we go. You now have the capability to do this. Yes? Oh no, we must be at peace. Ah. No, we don't want to give the mixed tech anything. We don't even really want that, because that'll cost us diplo power. Um Give us your money? That'll make the truce only last until fourteen eighty seven. It'll be like five years, a little over five years. Yeah, we'll make it make it an even six and they can give us war reparations. Because we have the magic number. Wait, there's a valid rival for us to have? Ooh. We can rival the zoo. Uh economy actions. Now it'll be seven days before anything else happens here. If we go to war with them, no one else would get drug in at the moment. We are paying a lot of money for mercenaries right now. Yep. A lot, a lot of money for mercs. It'll probably be okay though. Um, let's move down here to yeah. We'll move down there and <laughs> like that provincial unrest zero point zero because now we're getting minus point one five war exhaustion and we've got three stability. We might just let the, some of this go here. Uh, we'll lose the Diplo power for right now. Because we're still kind of trying to build up to... Our admin tech here. Um, national tax modifier. Missionary strength. You know what? We'll take you. It'll probably make us get like no no money a month or go negative, but we've got a little bit of a treasury right now. We can afford it. We're gonna get him done down here that much faster. Fourteen eighty-three? Yeah, March. Yeah, we'll wait till March. Pass the reform. Go to war with the zoo. Just kinda swarm them. Okay, we have achieved religious unity. Fortify Mexico. Uh, incorporate mixed tech. Oh, take Chiapas. Uh, 
Okay, let's go with Fortify Mexico. And you know what? We will uh, build one. 51.35 ducats and 10 military power. Uh, and let's go to war. You to do flower wars. I mean, either way, it's gonna cost us. They rule over Cocomes. Okay, which will aid them. All right. I didn't realize that. I didn't notice that Cocomes was a vassal of theirs. So, uh, next time. We go to war. See you then. Bye.